What's up, everybody, and welcome to the beautiful game of Civilization VI. I am Logan, a.k.a. LaserG, and in this episode, our empire is going to be coming to life. We are going to be building all of the most beautiful things in the world. Wonders, national parks, mounties, theater squares, entertainment districts, and roller coasters, and water parks. Everything is going to belong to the great nation of Canada and our glorious wooded tundra. It is going to be beautiful. It is going to be incredible. It is going to be the territory of the Sexy Ice King. That's right, our religion of Sexy Ice King. We cannot be stopped. We're going to take over the world with our sheer glorious beauty of Canada, and I hope you're ready. If you like this episode, please hit the subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. You'll catch the next one if you do that. Uh, let me know in the comments what other leaders you want to see, and with that, let's get started. Uh, so taking a look here at our empire, we have a very, very expansive empire already. I think we have something like nine or ten cities, it looks like. Uh, and we just pissed off the Swedish Empire here by settling in their land. May or may not go to war with them, actually. Also, this really nice uh, Mount Everest here, giving a lot of faith if we want to take that over. So, something to consider. Uh, let's see here. Where did we leave off? Okay. So, we just founded the city of Windsor. And, as I said, we are going to start building our very beautiful things everywhere. So I think we want to go theater squares and preserves basically across the board. Question is, do we buy up the land to do that now? Let's get some more money first of all. Mansa Musa tends to be very rich, so we're going to sell him our extra wine. Cool, that's some good money in there. And then might as well buy another luxury from Gilgamesh. And then maybe we can sell some Diplo favor. I think Christina tends to really like that. Okay. Cool. She's basically out of money from buying all of my other Diplo favor. Uh, so now we have a good influx of cash. I think I want to build a preserve over here. And the nice thing about building a preserve is that it also culture bombs all of this land. So we can steal all of this land from Christina. Uh, just think about where I want it. I think this is a national park potentially. So I think this becomes my preserve. Let's go ahead and buy that. Uh, and place a preserve right there. Cool, I really like that. Preserves, not a great idea if you're trying to win the game as fast as possible, but a very good idea if you're trying to make a beautiful empire. We've got a nice little crossbow. Christina looks kind of mad that I settled near them, and that city's still losing loyalty. Ooh, we are about to lose that city. I thought I saved it. Okay, emergency, let's put a governor there. We do have another governor. Hmm... Okay, maybe we put, like, Liang there and just get builders. Let's try that and see if we can save the city of Hamilton. Is it still rebelling? Got rebellion in three turns. That's not good. I really thought I had saved the city last time. Kind of surprised by that. Uh, in the Magna City, we are definitely going to go for, where is it, Ancestral Hall. This gives us extra production towards settlers and a free builder in all of our cities and an extra governor title when we finish it. So it's really, really an awesome thing to do. It's especially an awesome thing to get in our Magna City because if you look at Magnus's promotions here, once we have provision, we can pop out settlers without losing population. So that'll be really, really good combination. And this city's going to be doing nothing but building settlers for me. Uh, let's see here. Right, crossbowmen. Uh, we might need to retake that city in a second. So let's go in there. This settler... Oh, I wish I could help with loyalty over here. Let's just go in this direction. See if we can found another city there. And then this builder here... What do I want to do with this guy? Ooh, look at that tile. That's a crazy tile. Uh, maybe we get a lumber mill up there. I like that. Our lumber mills are insane. Uh, we can convert some folks. Christina sent her army of Lutheran missionaries here. Uh, so maybe we just keep this guy in the city and wait to see if Christina tries to fuck with me. I like that plan. The wait for fuckery plan. Uh, Scout seems to have reached the North Pole. And we find a tribal village. Nice. So here's the thing. Uh, Anshan, which is a city-state we really want, by the way. City-states like Anshan cannot claim tribal villages. Only other major civilizations can do that. So that's why we get this tribal village so late into the game on turn 80. 
Builder here builds an amazing camp. Look at that camp, dude. Oh my god. Our tiles are just ridiculous, and they're only going to get better. Okay, what are we going towards now? I think we want to be focused on building wonders for our glorious nation here. What wonders do we want? Hmm. I think Forbidden City would be awesome. Let's try for Forbidden City. See if we can get it. Okay, unit needs orders, right. We're going to claim this. Hopefully we get something good. We get free pop. That's really nice. Next turn. Okay, and we finished our first commercial hub. Get With some air score for that. Feudalism. Take a look at our air score, and that just put us over the top. So we now are lined up for another golden age. Oh my god, just compiling golden ages on top of each other. This is about as strong a Canada build as you're going to see. Let's actually plug in the Better Builders card. Yeah, I like that a lot. So we're going to get two extra charges on our builders now. Uh, military policy-wise, I think we can actually change governments to Classical Republic. Get some more great people points, because we're not building wonders right now. Um, we don't want a military card. So we put in the builders card. I want to grow extra fast. And then, let's see, this card is mandatory, right? This is the one that's fueling our entire game, doubling our Holy Site adjacency bonuses, and we have wild, wild Holy Sites. So this gives us an insane amount of faith in production. Uh, that looks good to me. Cool, and then take a look at this. We're going to buy a builder. This guy has five charges instead of three, so that's an insanely powerful builder. Really, really strong. Sell our gold to Mansa Musa. Boom. We're swimming in it. We're swimming in money. We like it. Next thing we want to research civics-wise... Hmm, I think I want to go toward Reformed Church. Potentially, for the extra faith. Although, Merchant Republic's good. Yeah, let's just go that way, I think. Uh, Hamilton, do we save the city? Oh my god, we just barely saved the city from flipping. Clutch. Clutch. Uh, we could potentially upgrade you to a man-at-arms. I think I want to do that. Just get one man-at-arms, actually. Because look at our city strength right now. It's a 26. Not great. Uh, but if we upgrade to the man-at-arms... Oh my god. Christina's at 92 military strength. Do I just fuck up Christina right now? Mmm, very, very tempting. Uh, I kind of just want to steal those cities. Mmm. Let's see if we can get some more money from Christina and then use it to kill her. Okay, she's basically out of money. Uh, okay, let's do that. Let's sell some more horses to Gilgamesh because we have we're overflowing with horses. We have way too many horses. Cool. Okay, so you're gonna be a man at arms. Boom. Our cities go up to 36 strength and 35 strength. Capitals up to 42. Nice. Okay. Uh, this builder... Right, I remember what I wanted to do with this guy. So we're actually going to get rid of this iron soon, so that this whole preserve area is even more beautiful. Right now, this iron and this marsh are actually really hurting my appeal. Uh, I think this was the marsh one. So we'll get rid of that. Build a farm here. You cross over. Choose production. I think now we get the temple. Cool, I like it. A lot of good stuff. We're finished with Ancestral Hall. That's great. And we have an extra governor title. This is a really exciting governor title. Because now we're, we're going to go Harmonious here. So you can look at their promotions. We get Ley Lines. Ley Lines are pretty bad, actually, in most situations. Uh, but in our game, I think they're going to be very good. So we get our Secret Society, finally. Turn 84. And then you can see the next promotion. Preserve Districts and their buildings grant extra housing and extra growth. And then tiles adjacent to preserves gain plus one of the main yields of specialty districts absent from the city. Sounds very complicated, ends up being very good. So that means if you haven't built a commercial hub, you get extra gold near your preserve. If you haven't built a campus, you get extra science. If you haven't built the holy site, you get extra faith. So we're going to be getting a lot of extra yields once we have that. See if we have any ley lines, first of all. Can already see one. Do a quick search, and oh my god, we have so many ley lines. Normally we have none. Look at these tiles, dude. Everywhere we have ley lines are going to be so ridiculously strong. Yeah, so ridiculously strong. Oh my god. Look at these freaking tiles already. This is just the beginning. Okay, so that's not a theater square. We'll deal with that later. 
Wow, we have so many ley lines. We have two in the cap. We have three in the cap. That is wild. I think this becomes my theater square now, and we give up on our Coliseum dreams here. But oh my god, that is strong. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to have the most insane Canadian Empire I have ever built, for sure. You are going to be getting settlers until the end of time. This is that crazy Magna city I talked about. And our next governor title is for sure going to be the provision one for Magnus. Hmm. Yeah. So when you have a different secret society than people, which we will for the most part, everyone's going to hate you. Kind of is what it is. Yeah, everyone's mad at me now. But we're going to be friends with Gilgamesh, I think, still. So that's all that matters. I just need one friend. Oh my god, we have another ley line here. Beautiful. We do enter the medieval era with another golden age. So back to back golden ages to start this game. Uh, we're going to make our dedication, and no surprise, we're going to go Monumentality again. Extra movement for Builders, and most importantly, we get to buy Builders and Settlers with Faith, and cheaper with Gold and Faith as well. So this is super, 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 super good for us. We have an insane amount of Faith. Look at our Holy Sites. In case you forgot, we've got like plus 9, plus 11, dude. We have a plus 11 Holy Site, and that's a plus 22 Holy Site, because we have the doubling card in, which also gives us plus 22 production. So our holy sites are just absolutely insane. This city's already flipping to me. That's interesting. We get that city in seven turns. Maybe I just wait for the city to flip because I'm in a golden age and Christina is in a dark age. So rather than going to war, I'm just going to see if the city flips and have my military in position to kill it if it doesn't. I like that. So we're just going to hang out here. Again, nothing to see, Christina. Don't worry about this at all. Ooh, Christina's got some units. Maybe Christina's trying to kill me. That's interesting. You come over there, just in case. And then I am going to build this farm again. Just wanted to get rid of the marsh there. Scout's going to come this way. Choose production in the capital. Okay. We could get an insane theater square here, and I think I probably want that. Alternatively, we could get our industrial zone do i want engineers right now how much for the next great engineer this is a great engineer we really want to build wonders so i think i will do that actually let's go ahead and plop down our industrial zone and remember we have oracle which is doubling our great people points basically and we also have uh where is it mag or sorry pingala who is doubling our great people points not yet okay so i actually am going to take that instead of provision on magnus and double my great people points because it pairs so 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 well with oracle don't think christine is going to war with me so you keep exploring you get the mine next turn Ooh, impressive military we can be friends with pedro now wow that's huge that's so big for our game. I was worried about Pedro attacking me in that direction, but now we have friend. That's really, really good. And then, uh, unable to promise. Okay, I need more Diplo favor. I need you to not convert my cities. So I actually am going to buy up some Diplo favor now. I need three. Uh, and they want 20 gold. Yeah, I'll do that for sure. We go to Pedro and we say, hey, Pedro, how about you finally stop converting my freaking cities? You will respect my wishes. We'll see about that, but at least he agreed now. He didn't agree before. So hopefully he stops converting me, and we can hold on to all of our amazing Tundra cities with work ethic. Man, I could do so much damage to these cities right now. How long until it flips? Three turns? Okay, so our units are in position to kill all the rebels. Nice. Okay, so we're lined up. We're lined up to take the city. I mean, it's a really random city. It's not even on fresh water, but kind of is what it is. Uh, this settler finally reached his destination. Question is, do I want to settle there? Let's keep exploring this way. Yeah, I like this. Overthinking it. Oh my god, look at that. We get a 5-charge builder for free. This converts into a 4-3 tile. We have extra movement on the builder, so we can do this immediately. Look at this. We just founded the city, and we have these two tiles. Find me another civilization that's stronger than Canada. I dare you. Uh, holy site? Yeah, I'll take a little plus eight holy site, I think. Although that's a really good national park. Okay, so let's plan out national parks over here. 
this is a strong national park. Ooh, I kind of screwed myself with that holy site too. All right, let's just place the holy site. Overthinking it again. Uh, this settler also goes to fuck over Christina. I like that. Take more of that land over there. And then this builder can fix that farm, I think, from the volcano. We have open borders with Mansa Musa. Nice. Next turn. Kilwa is one of the most beautiful and we get Kilwa. cities That's in the an world. Awesome wonder for us. The houses awesome, there awesome, are entirely awesome made of wood. Their rooftops out of. Because the thing with Kilwa is it makes our city states ridiculous. Once we control these two faith city states, and I'll just put some more envoys into that. Actually, can we get it? I think we just got it right. Nice. Okay, look at that. So we're controlling two faith city states, right? And then that means that we should be getting extra faith. Yeah, I think we get like plus 15% extra faith. Uh, let's take a look here. Where's Kilwa? Yeah, plus 15% boost to the type bonuses provided by the city state. And then if you have two or more, it's plus 15% for all your cities. So yeah, we have just insane faith. And to prove it to you, I think I'm going to go on a settler buying spree. So let's just get settlers everywhere. Boom, we get one settler, and then next turn we'll get another one. So we're just going to have cities everywhere. Everywhere. It's going to be awesome. Uh, you keep exploring this way. Nice. We have so much land to settle there. That's going to be sick. Get this ridiculously good lumber mill. And then, is the city losing loyalty? What is this? Two turns. Okay, it is slowly losing loyalty. It is slowly losing. I'm hoping that we can get the city... Uh, right, so we don't want to do anything with these tiles around the preserve. That was my mistake before. This can be a lumber mill, though. And then over here, we'll fix the farm. Yeah, look at that beautiful farm. Amazing. And then in this city where we just finished Kilwa... Look at Kilwa, by the way. Gorgeous. Uh, in this city... What do I want here? Theater Square, I think. Build theater squares everywhere, or we could get our preserve up. Kind of like the idea of getting our preserve up. Let's do that. And then next turn. The taxpayer. That's us. Okay, and then this city should be one turn now. Beautiful. Okay, we're about to steal that city. Sucks to be you, Christina. You're about to lose all your stuff, and that city's next too, I think. Uh, we just got another settler. I think we'll come over here, settle this river area. You keep exploring this way. Ooh, Christina's over there, too. Interesting. Okay, so we definitely want to settle this before Christina takes it. This builder... Go get me this insane mine, I think. Ooh, I love that movement from Monumentality. That's awesome. Oh, uh, let's get another settler, too. Let's just totally screw Christina right now. Pop! <laughs> Pop goes the settler. Oh, that's fun. I love this build. I love this build. Okay, Christina's pissed at me. I mean, that's good timing, though, because I'm about to steal all your shit, so... At least you denounce me first. Yeah, religion reasons, fair enough. Okay, the barbs have arrived. This is flipping to me in how many turns? Nine turns? Maybe we just take it now. Uh, I don't want the crossbowmen to die, so crossbowmen can retreat. Man-at-arms can come in. This guy can come in and hit the city, I think. Let's just hang out there for a second. See if Sweden helps us retake it, actually. Another settler over here. Beautiful. We're making almost 200 faith per turn. That's wild. Get the mine there. You keep exploring this way. Ooh, a lot of barbs over there. Okay. So Coastal City may be a bad idea, although they're blocked off by the snow, I think. Uh, over here we go Builder, while the Builder card's in. Look at that, dude. This city has two population, two population, and yet we can build everything in like one turn. That is wild. And remember, that's because we have this plus nine, which is 18 extra production. So our citizens are working three production... 7 production, 10 production in the city center, which is already not bad for a 2-pop city with 10 production. And then we're getting an extra 18 production from the holy site. 
work ethic is pretty good, I would say. And then in Winnipeg, I think we want the Grove now. Yeah, I like the idea of a Grove. This gives me so much food. Let's try that. Look at all this land, dude, that we just culture bombed with our preserve. That's awesome. Uh, we don't want to improve any of the land around the preserve. But I can make this into a lumber mill, I think. Okay. And then this settler can actually come there, I think. Get that city finally. What do I want you to be doing? You have the holy site. Let's get another theater square, I think. Wow, look at that plus 10 holy site that we didn't build. Wild. Uh, I don't think any city can actually get that holy site. So let's pop down a theater square there. Get a nice little plus four theater square. Never hurt anyone. Okay, this set. Oh my god, we have so many settlers. Jesus, dude. Do I just build all the settlers? Let's forward settle Christina here. Pop. Get a free builder. Amazing. Oh my god, this is ridiculous, dude. This is ridiculous. Look at this tile. This is already a 3 2 tile? The heck? Uh, you can come forward, keep exploring. We reached the end of the continent finally. We're gonna flip that city too. We're gonna settle all around the city, I just decided. So this settler is actually gonna go here, and we're gonna loyalty flip this city too. We're gonna totally fuck Christina out of the game. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Uh, Cap finished with building some stuff. How many great people points are we making now? Yeah, we should get this great engineer, which is awesome. So we can build wonders with Isidore. That's beautiful. We can almost buy him with faith. Oh, dude, I want to buy him with faith. Okay, let's do that next turn. Why not? Why not? And then we're actually going to build Forbidden City, maybe? Right? Takes a good tile, but... I mean... Tiles are only so useful, right? Pop down Forbidden City and pop it out with Isidore? Ooh, or we could finish our religion really fast. What do we want to do here? 920 production is so much. Yeah. I'm going to do Temple. Might regret that, but at least we'll have another Wonder. It'll be beautiful. Uh, let's go Grove here, too. Uh, let's pop down our Theater Square, though, so that we lock in the production price. By the way, if you place down a district, you can lock in production price. This is a plus 5 because it's next to the ley line and the wonder and the woods. So yeah, I'll take plus five theater square, please. You can actually do that first, because that's so much culture. You can build an insane holy site, probably. Plus seven, plus nine. Why is that plus nine? I guess adjacent woods, okay. Don't mind if I do, snatch that from you, Christina. Sorry about that. And we don't have open borders, so I think your builder might be trapped. Yeah, the builder's about to be trapped. I could buy this tile and totally screw Christina. Oh, that would be funny. I'm not going to do it, though. Uh, you can heal up. How long until we steal whatever this city is? Six turns? Beautiful. The Swedish Empire asked you to stop settling your and you declined. In fact, you have continued to do this. Oh, believe me, I will continue to do this. We are going to rack up those grievances. Right, I'm going to screw Christina out of that city. We're going to settle all along there. And let's actually pop out another settler. No, we buy Isidore. Yeah, I don't want to wait nine turns. I'm impatient. Yeah, give me Isidore right now. I want Isidore immediately. Probably not correct again, but I'm just having fun at this point. We're so strong. We're so strong. Uh, What do you want you to do? You could build a granary. Could get another settler, maybe. Could get a builder. I think we go builder and then just build woods everywhere once we can do that. What lets us build woods? That's where we should be going. Let's go here. And then let's go for woods. Uh, is it this one? Allow builder to build woods. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go straight for conservation after this. I like that play. Unit needs orders, right? Get me this mine. Look at that mine, man. Look at that mine, man. That's a crazy mine, man. Just look at our land, dude. All Every tile is insane. Uh-oh. Uh, horseman died. That's unfortunate. That was my bad. City's almost mine, though, on the plus side. Unit needs orders. Yeah, come up one tile, but, like, please don't die. 
Okay, I do want the wonder card in, but I think I just do this. Okay, we're two turns, so I'll save the other charge of this guy. And then over here, yeah, let's pop down this city. Get another five charge builder. Yep, okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Man, our new cities are just crazy. Like, every new city in the tundra on the coast starts with this layout, where you have a 4-3 tile. No, don't do that. 4-3 tile, and then you have... Why can I not select? That's really strange. And then this 4 tile. So we're growing in three turns. If you've never played Civ before, that's wild. That is just crazy growth. And then our holy sites are obviously amazing too. I think I transfer over this tile. Yeah, plus eight. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, over here. Okay, barbs are coming. Or not barbs, rebels. Uh, what do I want to do with the builder? I think just run away. Yeah, maybe go over here and build me a mine randomly. And then this builder, let's go get this tile. This tile is going to be really strong because it's woods along a river in the tundra. So watch, this is a 1-1 one, one tile. We buy it. It's a 2-3-2-1 two, two, tile. We improve it into a lumber mill. And all of a sudden, that 1-1 one, one tile is a 2-5-2-1 two, two, tile. That is awesome. You are going to keep screwing Christina. Go this way. No, no, no. Come this way. Uh, horseman over here. Let's see what's this way, I think. Next turn. In a dusty, Boom. bustling corner the of the Indian state That's of awesome. Bihar. Take a look at this temple. Gorgeous. Look at all of our wonders in the cap. We have Temple of Artemis, we have Oracle, we have Mahabodhi Temple. Uh, we also built Kilwa over here randomly. And there's plenty more where that came from. We're building, like, all the wonders in the game. We get two free apostles. Uh, we are going to evangelize our beliefs. Evangelize, evangelize. Okay, beautiful. And then let's also get another apostle. And another... A missionary, too. So we're going to convert everyone to our religion now. And Sexy Ice King is going to rule the world. Look at my beautiful midsection. That is awesome. Uh, okay, so then check it out. We get to add beliefs. Why does this not say Sexy Ice King? I think that's an error. It just says custom religion? That's weird. Should definitely say Sexy Ice King. Whatever, we all know it's Sexy Ice King. You can see by the icon it's Sexy Ice King. Uh, we're going to get extra culture for every four followers. That seems freaking awesome. Epic culture boost. And then... What do we want? I think we just double up on culture, maybe? Yeah, let's just double up culture. Cool, so we get extra culture uh, with both beliefs. Boom. Fully evangelized religion. We're the first religion to do that. We have all four of our beliefs now. Extra error score. We're almost in a normal age already with like 40 turns left. That is wild. This is such a good game. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and build that awesome building, I think. Or do I just go another wonder? Hmm, tempting to just go another wonder. Nah, let's just get that. Let's get the market. Let's buy the market. Because we get so many great people points for everything that we have in the capital. And then we'll build this, I think. Make sure we're still friends with you, Gilgamesh. Cool. Uh, you want to be allies? Let's be... Let's be, like, cultural allies, I think. Send some trade routes back and forth and give me some money for that, too. Cool. Beautiful. Get a boost. Uh, another governor title. For sure, this governor title... I have this one. Ooh, I just want to show you this one. Yeah, that's going to be really good. So we get extra housing, extra growth from all of our preserved... Ooh, okay, check this out. Preserved districts and buildings grant plus two housing and plus 10% growth each, I'm pretty sure. So when we have a fully built out preserve, we get plus 30% growth and six housing... Oh my god. Yeah, that's super strong. And then look at our tiles now. These are going to get even better. Let me take away this National Park uh, reminder as you can see. Yeah, I mean, these are going to get even better once we make this beautiful. In fact, I think I want my builder now to go remove some stuff. So let's pop out another builder just to make that even prettier. 
And then Unity's orders. Right, this apostle, we got another apostle just because I wanted to have fun with it. These are all my cities anyway. Uh, what do I want to do with this apostle? Go convert my other cities. Yeah, go take those back from Pedro, now that Pedro promised not to. And then we got a missionary here. You can go up to steal all my cities from Pedro. Check out this tile. 2-1, right? 2-1 tile. Boom. And boom. Oh my god, so strong. So strong. Next turn, steal the city. Uh, you want to sell me a great work for iron? And give me gold for it? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take your book. That's a bad deal for you, Mansa Musa. Blast. Build. Okay, we find Niter. We steal the city. Look at that. That is beautiful. We stole the city. And then this settler. Oh my god, we have so many settlers. Jesus. Uh, yeah, you come down there. This settler. Pop down a city. Why not? Pop. Okay, now we gotta deal with the barbs. Uh, maybe I just buy, like, a crossbow or something. Hmm. Could buy a trebuchet. I think trebuchets are better against barbs. Let's do that. Let's get some more money and buy a trebuchet, I think. Just in case. Boom. Okay, now we can buy a trebuchet and protect ourselves. That's expensive, but now I feel safer. Both against the barbs and against Christina. Let's see how much damage we can do with this trebuchet against the barbs. I think a lot, right? Yeah, like almost dead. Yeah, almost dead. Trader can probably go to Gilgamesh. I'm going to set this guy in position to trade with Gilgamesh because we have an alliance with him. Let's see if we can get an alliance with you. Make alliance. How about an economic alliance, I think? And give me money too. Perfect. Thanks, Pedro. Cool, we have two allies now. That's great. Uh, what do I want you to do? Wow. Uh, there's almost, like, nowhere left to settle. I guess go over here somewhere. <laughs> I could build a diplomatic quarter. I never do that. Oh my god, we can build it in one turn? I think I have to build a diplo quarter in one turn. This is a national park, and this is a national park. So I can't build it there. Yeah, let's just pop it down here. Cool, one turn diplo quarter. I will take that. And then in Vancouver, we'll build a temple. Get some more faith. We have so much faith right now. Uh, I don't really want to sell you Niter, but I will sell you uh, my gold for gold. Right? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, give me a bunch of gold. Perfect. Thanks, Gilgamesh. Appreciate you being a shopaholic and giving me all your stuff this entire game. We are just crushing everyone now. Look at score again. 480. That is a wild. Uh, you can hang out. Ooh, that's aggressive. All right, you go back. I feel like we might be about to be surprise ward right now. So you can come back to and guard the city. Yeah, I'm a little worried about Christina finally getting fed up with my shenanigans. It's about time, honestly. Don't know what took her so long. You convert Montreal back. Thank you very much. You go ahead. Let's get the most gold we can from this trade route. Nice. Uh, over here... Let's get some extra population, I think. Buy this tile. I'm impatient. Just give me everything I want immediately. That's this game, right? I don't care what's optimal. Just, like, give me everything. I have enough money. Let's pop out another settler since you're already at your housing cap. <laughs> so many settlers. Convert Montreal. Sexy Ice King. Has that fixed, by the way? Yeah, Sexy Ice King again. Thank God. That was a weird little glitch. But, thank god, Sexy Ice King has been restored. We're gonna go for provision on Magnus. Boom. That's awesome. This settler hub is gonna be crazy now. Uh, yeah, just make settlers until the end of time, please, I think. Settlers until the end of time. Cool. Uh, and I'll actually buy you that building soon. Okay. Can't do that yet. Uh, over here, we'll go one turn shrine or three turn amphitheater. Oh my god, our cities are crazy. Dude, look at this. Finally, our preserves are coming online. This is the combo of preserve, Canada for the Tundra, uh, and the Harmonist promotions. And this is only going to get stronger. This is literally the very beginning. These are going to be like 10, 10, 10, 10 tiles. This is going to be so, so good. Let's prioritize food so that we grow here. 
Uh, what do I want to do? I think maybe just get infinite builders. Yeah, let's get another builder. Plant woods here, make it even prettier. And the prettier it is, the higher the yields will be, the more culture we'll get. It'll be awesome. We have all of our preserves coming online. You can start to see these crazy, crazy tiles. And once they're national parks, once we get in uh, the sanctuaries, all that stuff, it's going to be even, even better. It is going to be so, so beautiful, like you've never seen. But already, we just have the most gorgeous empire you have ever seen. It is beautiful. It is Canada in all of our glory. I mean, just the production. Look at all these high production tiles. This is just wild, man. What an insane empire we've built here. And check out this world history mod. I showed you this last time, but I think this time it'll be even crazier. So we start off, boom, found the city, found the capital. 30 turns go by, we have one city. There's another one. Okay, two cities. Pop, pop, pop. And now we just go crazy with the expansion. Look at Canada go. Look at all this exploring we're doing, all the wonders we're building, all the cities we're founding. We stole the city from Sweden. Oh my god. The beautiful Canadian expanse we have taken over. It's only turn 106. And we have, what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cities. Uh, 16 cities. Oh my god. <laughs> 16 cities. This settler... Oh my god, I almost want to wait. I'll wait a turn so I can found 17 cities. 18 cities? Pop. Dude. We have infinite cities right now. Infinite freaking cities. Holy shit. Oh, uh, there is a barb there. We gotta kill him. Uh, do I go into the water? Do I risk going into the water with these barbs around? Probably not, right? Yeah, just build a mine. Uh, and then let's go kill this scout who's almost dead anyway. Cool. Where did my settler go? Is this another settler here somewhere? Right. You're here. Boom. Another city, dude. Look at this expanse. We haven't even done any exploring overseas. We're going to have like 50 cities by the time this game's over. I'm just going to make so many cities. Yeah, we can settle more here. Christina's got like three cities left. And we just have everything else. This is glorious. This is an amazing empire. And we're just getting started. Hit the subscribe button if you made it all the way through. Appreciate you for watching. Don't miss the next episode. We're going to probably win the game on the next episode on turn like 150. It's going to be the fastest deity win of all time. And I'm excited to see you there.